Hey guys, this is Artyom. Hello comrades, how you doing? Welcome to my playthrough for Metro Exodus. I'm gonna load from the chapter spring so we can hear the storyline of the talk. Because in previous episode, after Kravava Yabanya, I told you the translation is blood bad for it, yes? And uh, we're gonna start from here so we can hear him speak. Now I shut up. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in, and it's not our responsibility to fix it. We only wanted to pass through, and it was not my fault they screamed for blood. Their zealousness reminded me of the Metro, where people are indoctrinated into a lie. That the world is dead and there's nowhere to go. Anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie. That the war is still going on. Here it's electricity is a sin. Same difference, really. Very, very sad. I feel so, so bad for the Duke. You know, he was a good man. Good special forces man. Had great potential. Very good scout. Now he's gone. Because of my stupidity, I caused the bloodbath, and this was karma. Artyom, Artyom, wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. Come on, wake up. <clears throat> Oh man. I want to have a little seat, huh? What is this? What can we do? Oh, cool. I'm, I'm destroyed. I'm an idiot. Diary. Crew. New world. Bandits. Oh, cool. Galash. I think a revolver, a shot. Crew. Connell Miller. You know what? What what is on the radio? Any music please? There we go. Good. Oops. No! How long have we been on the road for? I've been listening to the radio too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Serial, one was kissed, yes, 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 he kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew, what to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Rest. I need vodka. It's a good song, eh? This mirror is on me, войной. 
This world is going war at me. That's how it is. Okay, Nastya. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Oh. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Good, good, I like. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Let's get a trabash. Duke's plate carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he well, he just kept joking about it. And AK. <clears throat> AK has more ammo. What was I? Well, I feel I'll be sorry for you. Well that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! <sighs> what would you like to ask, Nastya? Uncle Tokarev, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Well, like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle and I use a sail stitch. Wow, cool! Can you teach me? Where is the one I more? Sure can, but later. Okay, fine. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Okay, cool. Sam is so strict, you know. Hurra! And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. <laughs> all right, look here. I'll show Maybe you. Maybe that metal once. detector will be fine now. Now we do this. Okay, got my new guns. I see. Hey, oh, Korish. That's good. You guys remember what Korish means, right? Smoke with this man. This is one mean smoke. It's good, Damn, eh? This is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. I mean, brat. Amen, brother. <coughs> <coughs> no smoking. Well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the colonel, Duke. That guy did a swell job on that bridge. He was a great guy. May he rest in peace, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. you. You people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? No problem, Koris. So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Svoboda. It's freedom, yes. Sure thing! So much space! It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Though you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratucha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Who remembers what Bratucha is? Oh, I teach of course, you it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex government people dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So, what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything is long since gone to shit. 
So what for, really? I don't know. I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you. That means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. <laughs> well, Artyom, you seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Okay, Combat. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. <laughs> I'll see you later, Bratuha. Now, this way. I see. <laughs> Ain't that sweet, eh? Don't rush it here. And there's the teddy bear. Who remember Gabi. what it took me to save this stupid bear, eh? Mishka. Plushova Igrushka, eh? Nastya loves Plushova Igrushka. By the way, my in real life, my wife is named Nastya. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence, eh? What is this? Nasty Slayer. Dear Teddy, I write this so you know where to look for mommy and me when you come back. Because mommy and I wanted to stay, but Celestus, we must go to the tower and leave the car. Ah, okay. It's already mystery solved. Teddy Bear is back. Oh, продаже. That song is good. Trains like this still exist, you know? I travel a lot. On such trains before. The guitar! Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. Stepan, how my brother has a cigar. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Oh. This is for the memory of my brother Duke. I will never... I will never forget. But what choice did I have? They were too much. Sneak was not an option at that moment, you know. I had to throw those grenades. I had to shoot them all down. Knife was not an option, my friend. And I miss him now. He was a good boy. Хороший солдат. Корабины без Special Forces ever. Rest in peace. You have vodka? No. Thank you, Stepan. All right, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, All and right. I still kept it in. Let's go. I just sat there with a needle in my hand. The Duke's memory. And here is the correct people. Uh, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Stop with this funeral mood! It is Duke we are talking about. Do you recall how he came Rest back peace, from my the brother. library? Same thing here. Well, yeah, that time he pulled a fast one on us. We had the drinks ready. Sam said everything. Was a good speech, too. Thanks. Well, that is true. Don't be shy. So, Sam ends his speech, and then Duke asks, Where's my drink? <laughs> <laughs> So that is why I say we should wait. He came back from that library. And this, this is nothing. I need more. We will pick him up on our way back. If we leave to it's go empty. back. No, Refill come my, on. Bo my glass. Well, I just think we should still drink to Duke's memory. And if he's alive, that's only a good omen. Sam, what do you say? 
I'll drink later. Gotta finish cooking. Добро пожаловать. Welcome. That's what it means. Let's drink. Drink. All right, let's. But my cup is empty. Bastards. It's rough. Вот самогон. Yeah. Alright guys, I'll see you, talk to you later. By the way, speaking of omens, let's have a service for him once we the hell was that? The church. Oh, it's a rabbit. <laughs> More rabbits, eh? Meat. This is good. Thanks to Tokarev, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, I identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. Hey, hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire, and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the special forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, I see. Well, this is great! Great! Yes, uh, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6, Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. Mm, uh, K-6, uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters ever reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor. Thank you. Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information, uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited my hands are still shaking. Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Whoops! I did not know it's going to trigger it as soon as I click the map thing. Ugh. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home 
to the metro. All right. So what we see here is down uh, Vesna 1,086 uh, 1, kilometers. Sorry, I still feel bad for Duke. And we're heading up to the uh, Project Kavchek. It's uh, called Project Kavchek. It's uh, I forget how it's in English. It's uh, you know the by Bible when the, this guy built the ship and ship. Karabel and uh, took all the male female animals and so on and that's his Kavchek the ship is called the Kavchek I forgot maybe say I am depressed about Duke and on the right it says правительство question mark is the government and a question mark okay let's go You know what? I decided this is where we're gonna uh, pause it, have the end for this episode. And uh, I need to take a smoke, drink coffee into memory of Duke. Very good soldier. I hope. Rest in peace, Duke. R.I.P. Duke. Alright. I have nothing else to say. Artyom is emotionally destroyed. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye comrades. Signing out, Martyom.